Okay, so people were wanting to know how I'm pausing my prints with uh, Cura. So I've gone ahead and loaded a model here into Cura. We're going to go into uh, layer view so we can see the individual layers. I'm going to drag our slider down until our pockets are visible. Uh, you can see our pockets here. We've got three bar magnets at the bottom, three at the top, and then a host of disc magnets here. Um, we want to figure out what layer those get covered up. So they get covered up at layer 23. Layer 22 is the last layer that those pockets are open. That is the layer you want to pause your print height at. Um, the pause happens at the end of the layer. So if we set this to pause at layer 23, the slots would already be covered up before we ever got to put anything in them. So to uh, initiate that pause, we're going to go up here to extensions, post-processing, modify g-code, we're going to click add a script, and we're going to click pause at height. We're going to change our height setting to layer number. We're going to select our layer number 22. We're going to park at x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 300. That'll pause the print head at the very back left hand corner and eject the build plate out so it's easy to get to what you want to work on here. I uh, don't do any retraction, I don't do any extrude speed work, uh, don't uh, redo any layers. Uh, standby temperature, I set that at 180 if I'm printing PETG. And uh, my resume temperature, I set at 220 because that is what I'm printing at here. Um, when we hit close, if you look down here next to your save to file button, you'll see a little icon with a little hammer and uh, wrench. If we click on that, that brings up your scripts again. Uh, if you need to make any changes, tweaks, or add anything else. Uh, now when you click save to file, it will slice that for you like normal. You load it to your printer as normal. And when you get to layer number 22, uh, when it's finished, the head goes to 0300 and the print pauses. Now whenever uh, the print pauses in Octoprint what I see is this uh, here this pause button turns into a red resume button but before I resume my print I want to send a couple of uh, lines of g-code to make sure that I haven't to basically recenter my, my build plate. Uh, if you just hit resume if you bump the build plate any at all during where you're setting your magnets, uh, encasing your nuts, uh, setting your coils, or whatever else you're embedding in the print. The steppers will be engaged for like the first 15 seconds or so after the print pauses, but then they will disengage. So it's easy to move the build plate. To uh, fix that, we send a G28, which is a home command, X0, Y0. That homes the X and Y axes to zero only. Once you send that, you send a G1, which is a move command, X0, Y300, at a frame rate of 9,000. And once you send that, it moves your print head back to the 0, 0300 coordinate exactly where you parked it. You have absolute position. So whenever you click that resume button, uh, the head is uh, right where you paused it. When you resume, your hot end heats up, the ZX drops back down, and printing resumes. Uh, one thing you want to be mindful of whenever, uh, say you come in here and you're, you're finished with this model and you want to load another one, if you remove that from your build plate here in your slicer, your script is still active. So if you drop another model here on your build plate, it will also have this post-process script given to it whenever you save the file. So to get rid of that, so you don't accidentally pause your next print. Go in here to your pause at height setting, hit X, that removes the script, removes the icon, and you're ready for your next print. Hope this was helpful.